<sighs> this is probably not the video that you guys have all been waiting for. If you guys didn't know, Leangelo Ball is not on the Charlotte Hornets training camp roster. I repeat, Leangelo Ball is not on the Charlotte Hornets training camp roster. Pain. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Wave, and we're back with another video. As we all know, there really hasn't been much Leangelo Ball news up until today. So, before we get out to the news and, you know, the sad, sad story, man, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and turn on the bell for instant updates on the NBA and the Ball Brothers. And with all that being said, let's get right into the video. So, the Charlotte Hornets just announced their 2021-22 or 22-23 training camp roster. And guess what? Guess what? LiAngelo Ball is not on this roster. LiAngelo Ball can't catch a break. Like, it, this just makes no sense, man. This is the roster. LaMelo Ball, obviously. James Booknight, which a rookie. He, he, you know, he played decent in the summer league. Miles Bridges, again. Uh, third or fourth year in the league. Vernon Carey Jr. is officially on the roster of the training camp. DJ Carton, who in the summer league, Leandro Ball played way better than if you guys remember, you know, DJ Carton, he was getting clowned. You know, everyone was calling him DJ Milk Carton, but he was very, you know, Leandro played better than a lot of these guys who are on the roster right now who are first year players. Gordon Hayward, obviously all stars. Wes Iwindu, Kai Jones, who is a high flyer, you know, one of their top rookie picks this year. Uh, Arnoldis Koboka. Okay, now this is a guy who, again, was fighting for a spot on this team for, a, you know, a summer league spot. Uh, he played in the summer league, and yes, he did shoot a lot of threes, and he did make a lot of threes. But to say he wasn't better than Leangelo, or to say he was better than Leangelo... That's a stretch. Leangelo Ball, in my opinion, played better than him. Leangelo in the Summer League averaged 9.6 points per game, 2 rebounds, 1.6 steals per game, shooting 34.5% from the 3 and 37.5% from the field in only 15 minutes per game. That's the second lowest minutes per game average in the Summer League. And, you know, Kolbuka showed up for one or two games. The rest of the games, he scored literally zero points. Scotty Lewis, who again... Another first-year player who I'm not mad about that he's on the team. A lot of potential for him. Cody Martin. You can't tell me Leangelo isn't better than a Martin twin, bro. You just can't tell me that, you know, in the comments section, y'all better be roasting the Martin twins because that just makes no sense. Jalen McDaniels, another center, second year. Kelly Oubre, obviously, they just signed him. So, you know, he's a veteran, NBA veteran. Probably going to be an all-star this year, mark my words. Mason Plumlee, a big man. Nick Richards, Terry Rozier, Ishmish. Ish Smith, the point guard, and man, this is going to get me tight. This is honestly going to get me tight. Xavier Sneed. Xavier Sneed, are you serious? In the summer league, Sneed missed two free throws to, uh, you know, tie the game, but he missed. Sneed played so bad, man. He had no highlights. It, it just feels like Leandro Ball was way better than a lot of these guys who made the roster, you know, who were competing with Leandro Ball. JT Thor, who again... In my opinion, LiAngelo Ball is better than and then PJ Washington. Now, looking at the Summer League roster, I can already tell you LiAngelo Ball is better than half of these players. He's better than Xavier Sneed, better than DJ Carton, uh, better than better than Arnoldus Kolboka, uh, basically better than all of his, better than Cody Martin, better than all of his, you know, competitors that he was competing against to make this training camp roster. Now. Me, including a lot of other YouTubers, thought that Leangelo was going to sign an Exhibit 10 contract, but they obviously gave that to Koboka and they gave that to Xavier Sneed. So, it's going to be very hard for Leangelo Ball to make it on the Hornets. I would almost say impossible, but you never know. They might sign him to an Exhibit 10 contract, but that's a very rare case right now. Everybody, including NBA experts, Shams, was thinking that Leangelo Ball was going to sign an Exhibit 10 contract. It was basically almost confirmed, but this just caught everybody by surprise. Man, when I heard this news, I was so mad. I wasn't home or else obviously you guys would have known. I would have made this video way long ago, but you know, this is honestly ridiculous because it's just sad to see someone like Leangelo Ball who works his tail off, finally gets a chance to play in the Summer League, you know, shows out, you know, absolutely shows out, hits his threes, plays his game, you know, doesn't do too much fancy stuff, just plays his game, 
and he gets cut like this like give the man a break and it's gonna be hard for another team to pick him up because obviously their training camp rosters are almost set as well so i doubt they're going to add lee angelo ball to a training camp roster so man again i'm in shock i'm in shock i really have nothing else to say other than this man it's just so sad to see i'm sure lamello is so sad right now um, obviously there was a video out which I will post tomorrow about the Charlotte Hornets head coach James Virgo reacting to Lee Angelo Ball getting cut which I'm gonna make a special video on that tomorrow because I have some special anger hidden, hidden inside about that but I'm mad that Xavier Sneed made it over Lee Angelo Ball. I'm mad that you know DJ Carton made it over Lee Angelo Ball. I'm mad that Cody Martin made it over Lee Angelo Ball. These no names. The Charlotte Hornets are so dumb for not picking this kid up man. And it's just so ironic because all the coaches were literally, you know, loving Lee Angelo. They were coming out saying Lee Angelo Ball is playing great. We would love to have him on the training camp. Uh, you know, even James Borrego came out and said that he thinks that Lee Angelo Ball will get a, an Exhibit 10 contract. But guess what? It never ended up happening. So the Charlotte Hornets are to blame right now. I know I'm, you know, in furious. I know all the Lee Angelo and Ball family, even NBA fans are furious right now that he didn't get a training camp roster. And as for what's next for Lee Angelo? Try to get in an Exhibit 10 contract on another team. Maybe possibly get on a training camp roster. It's going to be hard to be honest, but, you know, like, I'm just lost for words right now. Like, the fact that Cole Boca made the team or made the roster, you know, JT Thor made it. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. Let me see how many players are on the roster. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 20 players. So, out of 20 players, you're telling me Leans Ball couldn't have made the team, man? Like... I, I, I don't know guys like what's next for Lee Angelo Ball that's in God's hands right now like I'm at a loss for words like I said again get in the comment section let me know this is my true and honest reaction about Lee Angelo Ball getting cut so I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video man subscribe hit that like button and let's debate in the comment section who's to blame and why do you think Lee Angelo Ball was cut like I know Lamelo has to be furious and LeVar Ball I know LeVar Ball is probably you know throwing bricks right now outside of his house but man Thanks for the support show and be sure to be on the lookout for a video tomorrow on the Charlotte Hornets head coach reaction to this because James Brego was asked by a reporter in an interview, um, did you think that Leon Zobo was going to make it and he responded in a very interesting way which to be honest it was kind of a uh, he, he say she say blame game on Mitch Kupchak and the GM but with all that being said man I'm out peace.